Hi, this is Mark Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com. Welcome to this four and a half hour complete course on character rigging for After Effects. Fun fact, did you know that Pixar and Disney wanted this course? Oh, you didn't know that well, because it's not true. But hey, don't be discouraged. This course is for those who want to know how to rig a character and save time animating. This is a powerful rig. See for yourself. Let's get to it. This is Jimmy. And what you're going to learn in this course is how to accomplish this, a rig character. Okay, before anything else, let me, ex let me be honest with you. There are tons of millions of Sicilians of tutorials about how to rig a character. So what I'm going to teach you here that I didn't find anywhere else is to integrate a set of intuitive controllers to animate this character. You can change his eyebrows, you can change his eye direction, you can even play with this cue point here to maybe change his focus. And all with just a few clicks. Look to the left, look to the right, yeah, and thanks to the inverse kinematics, you can move his hand very, very intuitively without focusing on the elbows or shoulders. Just take the controllers for the hands and move it. Check this out. Because of the inverse kinematics, you can make him dance pretty quickly. With other rigs, you would have to focus on each hand, the position of his legs, nah. What a waste of time. Let's do it quick. Let's save time. Just take the body and voila. Super easy. Super easy. Look, he can dance. He can, yeah, jump. Woo. He can fly away. You can animate all this with just putting some keyframes on this layer, the body. And what about the head? Well, this is my favorite feature. You take the controller for the head and make him turn his head. And hey, looking a bit stupid, aren't we? Don't worry, we can fix that easily with adjusting the skew super easy. And very quickly change his expression, maybe a bit evil. <clears throat> Having dirty thoughts, what am I going to do with you? Or... You can, for example, rotate his head a bit and play with his face expressions using his eyebrows. Look how easy it is to make him happy. Ooh, look at me, I'm a bit happier now. What if you want to make him sad? Well, just check this happy switch. Ah, you see? Uh, now he's sad. See what you made me do? It's your fault. Don't pay attention, Jimmy. They just want to play with your emotions. Whoa, oh, that makes you angry. Oh. Be angry at them, Jimmy. It's their fault. Oh, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Oh, what about that, huh? See how easy it is to change his expression? All with just playing with the controllers for the eyebrows, position, rotation, and scale. This was something I wanted, to be able to control the expression fast on his face. Eyebrows, eyes, the head, easy to move. And you can have his hand behind him or in front of him by clicking on this switch. Chick-pow! There, now it's in front of him. Hey, look at my leg. Yeah, I'm rubbing a yeah. And not only that, what if I have my character looking to the left, a little bit confused? Yeah, look, it's all so breezy, yeah, a little bit of confusion. And what if I want my character and I want to see him from the back? Oh, by the way, look at the elbow. Ha, I'm going to change the direction by clicking here in this switch. Chow! Change the direction. And what if I need the character to be looking that way? Well, easy. Just switch his arms with the front to back function. There you go. Now this one. And select the head controller and... Bow! Now he's looking that direction. And with how many clicks? One. Okay, no, that was not one. Okay, 20. 
Okay, no, I suck at counting. It was a few clicks then. Yeah. And I don't need to use another character. Everything is within the same rig. I hope this course helps you feel the need to achieve faster animation so you can do more things with your spare time. Hey, Jimmy, relax. We're talking about good news here. I just didn't tell me. Hey, now you're happy. Oh, and not only that, this character has auto lip sync. Let me show you how to do that. Let me delete this audio file. And I have a, uh, I have a couple of things going on here that I'm going to explain later on. Let's say that I just inserted an audio file, like, let me go to project, like this one, Jimmy Talks. All you have to do is take it and drag it to the timeline here, then right click, then keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes, and you're almost set to go. Now you go to effects, and in the head control layer, you put in some values here in the audio amplitude max and the jaw scale smoothness I put 2.5 you have to play with these numbers a little bit I will show you in detail how to do, do this exactly okay let me just run preview to show you how this character talks very easily oh look at my lips I'm talking super easy I love it not only that, you can have the happy talking version or you can have the sad talking version. Look. Oh, look at my lips. I'm talking. And did you notice this, that this character also has auto blinking? Huh. See, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. With other rigs, you have to close the eyes manually. Well, not here. This is done automatically. The eye blinks give a sense of life to the character. Very, very subtle, but it works, you see? Oh, look at my lips. I'm talking. Hope you like the course. If you have any doubts, just leave me a comment and I will be happy to assist you. Remember, there are no stupid questions, only stupid people. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's not how it goes. It's, there are no stupid people, only stupid questions. Okay, let's leave it at, there are no stupid questions unless you want them to be. Okay, that actually makes a little bit sense because all the trolling on, you know. Just ask and I will answer. I read every single comment. See you in the next lesson.